Hello friends, you're most welcome on our channel, today I show you how can format computer and laptop in very easy step by step guide. Please note. Before start format your computer you need to back up your data from C drive. Because formatting C drive will delete everything from C drive, my documents folder and desktop. So make sure you've backed up every important file before format. To format a computer you need, a CD, or DPD, of Windows 7, or Windows 8 or which window version, you want to install in your computer. Today we format C drive. Restart your computer and pay close attention to the first screen that appears. Look for a message that indicates which key you need to press in order to access the BIOS. That key is likely to be a function key, such as F1, F2, or F3, the ESC key or maybe the delete key. On some PCs, entering the BIOS may require pressing another key or a combination of keys. Keep your eyes open for an on-screen message that says something like, if you don't catch it the first time, simply try again. Your computer documentation may also tell you which key to press to enter in BIOS. When you know the right key, start the computer again and press the key when the first screen pops up. You may hear a confirmation beep or see a new message. If you timed it correctly, you will be in the BIOS within a few seconds. Now in BIOS menu go to the boot menu option through arrow key and change the order of boot device making the CD drive as first boot device. This will boot from CD rather than hard disk while starting your system. This you can up and down any option through minus and plus key. Now save your changes you made. Now your computer will restart. After completion of BIOS setup, insert the boot disk and restart your computer. Now you will see a message while start, asking you to press any key to boot from CD, so press any key on the keyboard and the Windows 7 setup process will be launched. Now you can see the Windows files will be loaded. After completion Windows 7 logo will appear. Nothing have been copied or altered in your computer yet. And the data will be deleted in later steps. In this step, you have to choose your preferences. Here you will be prompted to confirm and specify your language, your time zone and currency format, and keyboard input method, US. After selecting the exact options for your system click next. Now click on install now. Do not click repair even if you repairing your system by reinstalling windows. Once clicked, setup will proceed automatically, just wait for a minute. Now click on I accept the license terms by reading the agreements and terms and click next. Now a screen will appear asking what type of installation do you want. Choose custom install. This a new window will appear asking, where do you want to install windows? Now click drive options, advanced. From here you can delete, format or manage your partitions. Select the partition of your existing operating system. If your hard disk has multiple drive then be sure and choose the correct one, generally it's always C, partition 1, drive. Because formatting a partition delete everything within this particular partition. Now click on the drive and click on format. After completing this formatting process you will be notified. After the very process completed click next. This will continue the Windows installation. And this process may take 30 minutes to 1 hour depending on the speed of your system. After completion of installation your computer will be restarted. After starting press any key to continue. Will be displayed again. But this time don't press anything. Because you already did that. Now just wait for a minute, and your PC will continue booting and complete the whole installation process within just few more minutes. Finally the process completed. Enter your username, this will be your Windows name. Windows will ask you for a password. This is optional. Now select the Windows Update option. To run your system securely and with stability it's recommended that you choose one of the first two options. The first will search and install updates automatically from internet. 
and the second option will notify you when important updates are available. In the next window set, date and time. Next select network preferences. Generally most of users select home network. If your network is being used in public place then select public network. Finally everything done. After a final loading windows will start. And now you can explore your PC and congratulations, you have successfully installed your window. If you like our video, then please subscribe our channel, we weekly upload such as new videos, share and like our video, and if you have any question about this video then please comment, I will definitely try to solve your query as soon as possible.